What's going on everybody? Welcome to another exploration. Today we're doing an abandoned family center. Basically this was a daycare, like a preschool. And there was also a gym here. There's a basketball court. This place caught fire about five, six years ago. And they left everything inside. This place has been abandoned now for almost 10 years. And there's just a ton of baby stuff, tons of toy stuff. The gym has all of its equipment left. It's actually a really cool building, a modern building. Usually I stick around the vintage era of stuff, mid-century and whatnot. But today we're exploring something kind of like 2000s nostalgia, you know, that type of era. Let's get lost in this abandoned daycare and hopefully you guys enjoy. You know I love history. You probably love history too if you're here watching. What this service does is really get you in tune with your personal history. Today's sponsor is My Heritage. It's the number one DNA service in all of Europe and it's very simple to use. All you have to do is do a two minute cheek swab, send in the DNA kit, and just a few weeks you're gonna get a bunch of results of where your DNA is from and find family members you didn't even know existed. So the results are finally in. I'm gonna figure out what my true ethnicity is thanks to my heritage. Let's go. Devin, you are 45% North and West European. I'm 25% Greek and South Italian. To almost 23% Iberian, which looks like Spain and Portugal. Okay, I didn't know that and 6.4 North African. So I have some Libya, some Tunisia, some Morocco, some Egyptian in me. That's something I never knew. That's actually really cool. About almost 50% North and West European and the rest are just Mediterranean. That's really cool. And oh, you can see the map too of where everything comes from. I actually really enjoyed this. If you guys want to use my heritage, you could use code DARK at checkout. I highly recommend it. The whole process is very fun. And if you do it with your family, you can make it a whole event. I mean, I know your family is gonna be not too far off the DNA tree from you, but to open it and learn as a family is something I would recommend. So thank you for my heritage for sponsoring today's episode. Still got the children's cubbies left in here. Names, clothes. You could assume that the fire perhaps happened as there are children here, as there are people here. We'll investigate the fire site to get more information. But yeah, there's a ton of stuff left behind right now. We're in like the baby room with all these cribs here. Very creepy location here. It's like a post-apocalyptic daycare. Got all these pictures here of the children. No years as to which. Oh, here we go, 2010, 2011. So maybe this place has been closed for about 10 years. Cubbies with names. There's 
there a button to press to get this thing to move? <laughs> That'd be creepy. Based on this calendar here, we could assume that the fire probably happened in February. Such a creepy sight here. I've rarely hit any like elementary school, stuff like that. A place where you see a bunch of toys. The closest thing I've been to a location like this is maybe an abandoned children's psychiatric center. This is pretty wild. Walked into another room here. And we have a bunch of these dolls. And every single one of their faces are burnt off. Or just charred. I mean, oh, I mean, look at this sight. It's such a weird sight. All these babies are just burnt. It's kind of really scary in a way. This room has a lot left behind. You got some kids ovens over there. This is like a home ec type of room. Got these creepy little dolls left behind. Very eerie place. Got all these pictures left here, all taken within these walls and still left behind after all these years. So even though this place is no more, the memories from the past are still inside. Physically at least here. Fitness room this way. So now we're going out of the portion that is basically just a daycare. It smells really bad over here. Really, really, really bad. Nice little handball room or something. Crazy echo in here. Woo! Okay, so we have the workout room to the right. And over here we have the gym, basketball gym. Look at the warping here. Maybe you could see it at floor level. There's such an incline as soon as you walk into this gymnasium. The warping of the gym is probably from all the water used on the building when it was burning. All that's seeped into the floors here. Actually a very nice gymnasium. We're in a lower income community right now. And it's a shame that this place went up in flames because a community like this really needs like just a, um, like a rec center in it. And look what we found over here. We found one of these parachute things. I mean, so many kids have this etched in their memories from childhood. I mean, how many people have this etched in their memories? This was the best thing ever to find in gym class. It's huge. I forgot what this thing is called. Maybe some people can help me in the comments. It's huge, though. 
if you grew up in the early 2000s, late 90s, you've had fun in one of these before. That's an amazing find, super nostalgic. There's a lot of soot and just like smoke everywhere on the ground inside this auditorium or ex inside this gymnasium, excuse me. So I'm gonna assume and say that the fire maybe happened somewhere in here. Not really sure what kind of fire happened, but really smoky in here. Let's check out the locker room real quick. A lot of soot in here. We still have some sneakers left behind here. Just some Nikes. I thought there were KDs or something at first, but nothing special. <laughs> Doesn't look like anything else is left in here. A lot of soot. Yeah. A lot of fire. Yeah, a lot of fire damage in here. Okay, we found the area that was damaged by fire. As you can see the ceiling here. It looks like it happened in this hallway here. Definitely an electrical fire. Something up there. These light bulbs are like so charred. So I'm guessing that's what caused it. Building's making weird noises. It's not all that stable. Kind of looks like something out of The Walking Dead. These are classrooms. Or just another daycare room. Nothing, nothing crazy in here. Oh, a giant Connect Four. Yeah, that's nice. super cool. What the heck? Okay. I all right, let's play. Hey, Dark Inspiration or She's a Magic Showdown. Let's go. We're building over here. Oh, blocked. Okay, I see what's happening here. Oh, blocked. Okay, okay. That was moving away from me. I just killed a spider. That's not part of the game. Uh, you fool! <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you went for the win. Uh, yeah, this is the hallway where darkness begins. The fire started over here somewhere. We're not going to walk too far in because it's really disgusting, but... What a dark and eerie hallway. I just hope no kids were hurt during the fire here. Wow. All of these weights, all look at these. These are actually brand new. Bro, this is like... These are brand new equipments. Some of this stuff is worth a lot of money in here. There's not even any mold on these. All these could be repurposed. All this equipment could be used. I mean, honestly, we should work out. We should put this equipment to some test. I want to run on the treadmill. That's probably the one thing that doesn't work. Yeah. No electricity. But um, the elliptical you could do. All right, let's see. Let's do the uh, elliptical here. It's a little hard to move. It hasn't moved in a while. This doesn't work. Did it light up when you moved it? No, I think water might have even gotten in this room and ruined some of the equipment. Although I don't smell any mold in here. I'm sure when they put out the fire, they were probably just hosing this place down. Uh huh. But it seems pretty dry. It's in good condition, this whole place, though. Seriously, they could have reused a lot of this stuff. And right now, all this is is an Urbex training course. Let's go. This Man, bicycle work actually out. works. Quick start. That was gonna be harder, right? Level 10. You got it? Yeah. Oh my god. This man's an Urbex monster. <laughs> Are you ready to train for the Urbex Olympics? <laughs> oh, I've done it. You're doing it.
This is the spot. Alright. Don't skip leg day, people. One more, come on, let's go. Uh, I gotta switch position. Wide grip. I can't do as much, it's hard. <laughs> this is an urbex training course, though. <laughs> oh. I'm tired. Too many exploring. Too much exploring. Too many exploring. Yeah, I can't speak, bro. It's hot. It's a hot summer day inside this burnt place. It's a good workout, though. You're burning up. I am. Someone's got burnt to a crisp that we need. Just like the bando. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright everybody, that's gonna do it for today's workout. Uh, <laughs> had a fun time. Got a really good pump in. And we explored this abandoned gym with everything left behind. We have the daycare, the gym, the gymnasium. Don't always explore places like this. Ones of which that hit your nostalgia, like the daycare did. A lot of old toys. And uh, I'm out of breath. It's a hot summer's day. Guys, and we're in this burnt building. Get out there and explore and have some fun. You heard him. Follow Rachel. Follow Chris. Follow me if you want to. And until next time. <laughs>